Alrighty guys, what's going on? So today I want to talk about is the S2000 really worth $20,000? And the short answer is going to be no, it's not worth $20,000. Now if you care to stick around and find out why, sit back and relax. No, I'm just kidding. If you really don't care, I don't care. Go ahead and click off the fucking video now. Or at least you know that this bike really isn't worth no 20 grand. But for the two people that are still here watching this video, hey, thank you. Now here are my reasons for why this bike really shouldn't be worth $20,000. Now keep in mind, that's just a sticker price. Whenever you go to actually go and buy this bike, they're gonna knock off so much money. That's that's what they did for me. But in all honesty, I paid 16 grand for this bike. 17.5 out the door with tax, title, license, and all that. The whole I don't know if it's just to like deter people from coming in and buying a brand new bike or whatever with their super high price that they're, you know, that they want. But with all the discounts that they give you, the price that you pay is like what all the other guys want for their bikes. You know, all the big four. Hold on. I gotta get onto this here freeway. wind noise right i'll wait till i'm off of the freeway six hours later now that i'm back in the city you know it's a few hours later the the s1000 really isn't anything special man it doesn't do anything more than like a four thousand dollar bike can do like my buddies are one that you know we raced and he beat me on granted it's because you know there's a hundred pound weight difference between me and him but you know like the bike doesn't even come with like Owens for and there's some extra stuff you have to pay on top of like the ABS Pro for as much as you pay for this bike you should get all that all the extra stuff for free you know the paint isn't perfect like e even like the Daytona 675 comes with Olin's forks and that's fucking bullshit and this bike has the electronic suspension but the R1 has electronic suspension if I'm not mistaken it might be the R1 like, are you really gonna pay 20 grand for this bike if if it's just a bike to you no it's more than just a bike to me and it's my dream bike. Now spending that much, which, like I said before, nobody really actually spends that much on this bike. You know, to me, it's to me, it's justifiable. Yeah, when you fucking hit it, like. It puts a smile on your face, but you know, anybody could do that. The handling is awesome on this bike. Oh, it feels so good. The clutch is real easy. The quick shifter is, at first I didn't like it because it was real, it was real squishy, but now it's a lot better. It's got all the, the lean angle thing on there. It doesn't have a gas gauge, but it's got a, a gas range. So it's, pr it's pretty much a fucking gas gauge. The auto blipper is awesome, but all, you know, there's other bikes that do that shit too. There's really no difference between this and then like the one of the new R1s or ZX10s. Or, you know, they're all they're all within a few horsepower of each other, anyways. And then you know, if you want to get one of the top premium bikes, they're they're all about the same. If you get the RZ4, it comes with everything this bike has. They make about the same horsepower. It's just it's just a matter of if you're willing to spend that money on this bike or not. Like all the stuff is nice, the heated grips, that's nice, you know, the looks are awesome, but if it's not something you truly want, you, uh, there's no reason for you to pay this much when, when there's other bikes that are cheaper that do just about the, all the things this bike can do. You know, there's a lot of good things about this bike, but there's also a lot of bad things, you know. Check out my video on the things that I don't like. Most of them are kind of nitpicky, but some of them are kind of big things. Maybe like, uh, for example, the paint in some spots isn't really all that great. And uh, you're going to be paying those European prices to get this bike fixed. It's not like one of the jet bikes, which is a little bit cheaper. Uh, like I said, there's nothing really special about this bike besides it being a BMW. And besides it being my dream bike. Well, you could add any little thing about this bike to another bike. The electronic suspension, you could upgrade to Olin's Forks and it'd be better than, you know, what I've got on here. You could put carbon fiber wheels and they'll be lighter than these forged wheels that I have on here. I've seen people add, you know, ABS, no, maybe not ABS, but traction control for sure. I've seen it, traction control modules and auto blipper mod modules and quick shifters you can add and, you know, all kinds of stuff. You could add cruise control too with, just by getting one of those little throttle locks. You could add a fucking... All kinds of shit. Self-canceling turn signals. Hey, time to do one of these right here. 
out here. Another one. Another one. But yeah, I mean, besides the name, what are you really paying for with these bikes? Nothing. All these bikes do exactly the same stuff, so just buy what you like. I mean, besides it going fast and besides it handling awesome, this bike doesn't do anything different or better than any other bike out there. Anyways, that's about it. Peace. Peace.